Well, it's road trip time. I'm on the road and I'm heading up to Yellowstone National Park, my favorite place on earth. I'm gonna try to make it to Utah today from Arizona. Probably about a 10 or 11 hour drive, depending on how many stops I make. I might do a little sightseeing on the way, but uh, bring you along and see what it's like road tripping with, uh, with me here. All right, here we go. All right, so I've been driving for like four hours. So this is my first stop uh, to get out of the car and stretch my legs. I think I got like six more hours to go, but I thought I'd stop here. I'll let you take a look. Now I'm back in the truck, just getting ready to hit the road again. I got all my stuff in the back. I've got snacks, I got drinks. This trip's going good, haven't gotten tired yet. I've been on the road for, what, like four hours? I think I got six left to go. So anyways. All right, so I'm coming down the hill from Jacobs Lake into Kanab. About 20 plus years ago, I was in college and I did a road trip from Idaho down to Arizona. Anyways, I let my speed get out of hand because I was going downhill. I didn't notice, but a cop caught me and pulled me over. Uh, long story short, I was arrested. <laughs> I was arrested. Guy put me in handcuffs, put me in his car. Basically, uh, two years before that, I had had a, another speeding ticket, and then I went on an LDS mission out of country, and my dad was supposed to pay the ticket and never did. Anyways, my license was suspended, but I didn't I didn't know that because I was gone. So when I got back into uh, into the country here. And then the first time I got pulled over, it showed I was driving on a suspended license. But man, I've been following these slow people for like the last 20 minutes. And it's driving me crazy. And this road is windy enough that there's no uh, opportunities to pass. So anyways, head down into Kanab and I'll try not to get pulled over this time. And I'm sure I'm not driving on a suspended license. I used to come through this town all the time back in the day when I was making the drive from Idaho to Arizona at least a couple times a year. And in this little town, I used to set up a cop car on the side of the road here down this main street where the highway goes through. And they'd have a mannequin in the front just to scare people to slow down because they thought that uh, they might get a ticket because the cop was sitting there. But never failed every time it was just a mannequin sitting in the front seat. So. I'm keeping my eye out, see if they're still doing that. Of course, it's the middle of the day, so maybe they don't have it out. Maybe they actually have a real patrol car, actually. Because we basically just drove through the whole town. But I didn't see it. Dang it. 
I miss my mannequin policeman or policewoman. Guess who? And guess who? Yeah. I guess. Caleb and Grace, if you didn't know. Yep. Caleb and Grace getting married in a couple weeks. Yeah. Coming up quick, huh? Nope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's uh there's Big Papa over there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Get around. So bye. All right, I'm on the river now, on the Buffalo River in Island Park, Idaho. And there's Brandon over there. Brandon's on his kayak. I'm on mine. Got my inflatable Intec, which is awesome because it's super portable. You just throw it in your trunk when you're done, especially if you don't have a truck to haul around a hard side kayak. But uh, the water is really, really clear and really, really cold. And uh, what do you see, Brandon? Fish right here. It's huge. Oh, uh, you got some fish over there in the water. So the water's so cold and clear, though. But uh, right there, yeah, there's right some there. trout in there. You can see them, maybe, if there's no glare on the camera. Dang it. Oh, there's one right there. But we've been seeing them jump out of the water all around us. They've been pretty active today. Heck, it's what, noon? No, one, one o'clock. And so, anyways, lots of wildlife. Hopefully we'll run into some moose. I think almost every time I've done this, uh, we've seen moose on the river. Yeah. But uh, yeah, this is, this is amazing. And the temperature is only about 65, but because the elevation, the sun seems a little more intense. So it feels warmer than 65, but that's about all it is right now. Anyways. Not paddling right now, I just like to float it and just take our time and uh, enjoy the beauty and the scenery. Yeah, there's some fish down there jumping. Anyways, I'll see you again downriver a little bit.
in the grass you can't you can't barely see but she's got two little calves behind her in the grass so she's keeping an eye on everybody coming down the river we've got more kayakers and rafters coming but uh, just uh, keeping our distance here Once Brandon and I finished our float of the Buffalo River, we decided to head up to Yellowstone National Park. At the north end of the park is Mammoth Hot Springs and Terraces. We also took a short hike out to Tower Falls. Yellowstone is full of hot springs like this one. including Yellowstone's second most popular destination, the Grand Prismatic. Yellowstone has over 500 active geysers, which is more than half of the world's geysers. While Brandon stayed back to watch Old Faithful the Ruck, I decided to walk a couple of miles out to Morning Glory Pool. Alright, well that's it for Yellowstone. Now it's time to celebrate the 4th of July. So this year I decided to bring up my electric longboard up to Rexburg, Idaho take advantage of the blocked off streets before the parade started and do a little cruising. And what better way to wrap up a vacation than to play a round of disc golf?